Oh, let's get that adjusted just right. How's that look, everyone? Hey, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. It's another beautiful day here in the great state of Arizona. And uh, I'm on my lunch break. I wanted to come talk to you for a little bit because uh, it's, it's a great day to talk to a camera. So let's go on a journey, a little story together, okay? A few years ago, I got an IT job. Let's call it Help Desk Plus, right? I was working for a, uh, an elementary school and that was such an uplifting environment, okay? I, when you're working around little kids, it's, it's like anti-depression. They're, they're just joyful over everything. And it was a, a really good environment to learn quite a bit. I had no idea what I was doing outside of, you know, but having some basic knowledge of computers and I learned quite a bit uh, about uh, group policy and whatnot. And shortly after that, I started a job at a local university where my wife teaches. She's a professor there. And that was where I, I really got my IT chops. Uh, everything from phone jacks to networks, it, uh, it was covered there because on an old university campus, everything breaks all the time so you have user management to phone lines being down and i didn't know anything about phone jacks nothing this was an old system with oh man i'm gonna slaughter the name it's like 110s or or 60 100s i don't remember what they are but they're basically like a, you use a punch down tool to pop these copper wires into uh, a receiver of sorts and that connects phone lines across the whole campus uh Man, I, I learned how to how to run wire in buildings and how uh, file servers worked. <laughs> All of it. It was a very good two years at that place. Um, I liked working at that university. Uh, there was after that, it was on to the startup world. So I got a job as a systems analyst, and um, that was just a, a pay upgrade. We had a second kid on the way. I went and sat down with management at the university. I was like, look, I, I'm going to need to advance because second kid's on the way. Uh, I'm looking for some more money. How can I do that here? And, you know, they were, they were very friendly about it. They're like, there's not really a place for you to grow. <laughs> I mean, if your boss dies, you can take his job. Uh, so, you know, it was what it was. And they were super cool with me looking for work and... They helped me in some cases and uh, found that systems analyst job there in the in the private sector and that was a storm of activity and more learning um, that was the the first time any kind of code that I've written was used in production and that is such a good feeling when something you do goes live it goes out into the world and is helping not just the people you're working with but all of the the clients then as well that that company is servicing um, that was my first experience with cloud technology um, man so while I was at the university I was learning SQL database work and then you find this job and SQL is just everywhere it's in everything it's a constant daily use kind of thing um, you end up using it everywhere, especially at that job. Just saying. Mm. So, where the systems administrator position at the university got me my IT chops, sure. Uh, this exposed me to a, a broader range of skills, more on the development side, more on the platform side of things with cloud, uh, cloud technologies. That was good. Um, still not a lot of developer experience, but kind of a jack of all trades position where they're like, Hey, if you can build it and it works, we'll use it. And that's what it was. It was, it was a very good team to work with. And, uh, I signed on with contract work and eventually that contract was coming to an end. Um, and I was thinking, you know, what's something a little more secure, then, then working contract work, like I said, I got the two kids. What am I going to do next? And there was this state job available. So I joined this state job. And 
it kind of felt like a step backwards in a lot of ways because there's a lot less autonomy and a lot less breadth of tools that you're using. Um, got to dabble in some scripting that help people generate reports, which is really nice. It cuts a, a task that would take four weeks down to about 20 minutes. So I was able to do that for some teams here and that'll save the state money over time. Sure, sure. But it's just different between the private sector and the public sector. There's a lot more meetings and a lot of them I'm not so sure I needed to be a part of, but I've heard that across the tech industry a lot. It's like, why was this a meeting and not just an email? Or why didn't our manager go and, and give us all notes on what is happening? Like, okay, all right. Um, so I'm sitting here in my state job and it's the same thing as the university. There's not really a place to move up. It doesn't, you don't really advance. There's no raises on a yearly basis. Maybe there's a budget change and everyone's pay goes up due to a revision. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but in this particular position, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so the ambitious part of me that wants to be challenged by my work and wants to get paid more over time. I'm like, I don't know if this is where I need to be long term, right? Hmm. So searching around and lucky me uh i stopped working in the private sector and didn't renew a contract there with that startup and i go into state work as the it industry is in this quiet recession you know whatever you want to call it right layoffs happening everywhere people aren't hiring there's ghost jobs being posted everywhere it's like a like a job posting that no one's really getting hired for for various reasons uh, so I'm sitting here like, I think I've made a mistake taking this state job, but I, and I do my job fine. I show up to work. I do my work, you know, don't, don't shoot yourself in the foot if you're dissatisfied for any reason. Right. So I'm looking for work and just not finding it. You know, you, my, my metric for these things is for every hundred applications you're putting out, you should hear back from about 10 get about 10% response rate and that's pretty good and get an offer from about 1% so one out of a hundred might throw you an offer and that relies so much on your interview skills and all that um, but I'm just not seeing that anywhere right it, there's a lot of no replies and a lot of them where you interview and you think you did really well and they're like yeah we're going with the internal hire anyway <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it's not an internal hire. Maybe they're just like, other candidates were more qualified. That's fine. That's fine. That's the nature of the beast. Um, so two weeks ago, you know, the good news I was talking about in previous videos, I wanted to share with you finally, I am upgrading my job title again. Now, senior is going to be added to my title. Yay as I work again at a local university here in the area. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It looks like more cloud stuff, more SQL. Hey, uh, it's probably gonna be a lot of SQL and report writing and uh, making sure everything's documented. But I don't know. I don't start for another 20 plus days. So I'm, I'm really excited for this. This opens up a lot of opportunity for myself, for my family, um, and something a little more stable and possibly permanent for a few different reasons. One, there's a vesting schedule with the mandatory re uh, retirement program. So uh, bailing early, you literally lose money um, before that uh, retirement contribution has been vested. So there's a big incentive to stick around. Two, it's a local university that offers master's programs. So I'm, I am mildly interested in master's programs for a handful of them. Um, I, might, I might, I don't know. It, it, I'll pray about it. Talk to the wife. Plan out what the next five years will entail. Um, and I don't think it's structured like the state job. There are different raises and opportunities for growth there. Um, my time spent talking with the team, they seem jovial. I, I liked interviewing with them. It was, it was fun. We all had a good laugh uh, a few times. 
And, um, and honestly, I'm just looking for something where I can relax a little bit. Like not, I don't mean the, the job will be easy and I can slack off. I mean, stop looking for work. Stop trying to renew contracts. Stop trying to upgrade. Can we just sit here for a second and get the work done and spend time with my family and build a business on the side? And that's enough. <laughs> like, this is secure. This is awesome. This is exciting. That kind of thing. <laughs> I don't want to apply to a bunch of places anymore. I don't want to go through interviews. Can I just... Like do my job and then put all my chips into the side hustle over here because <laughs> I honestly look at that as the thing that's going to be the long-term revenue generator for my family anyway. Uh, having stable employment, very nice, especially right now where nothing I'm doing on the side is bringing in money, you know, and so that you've got to take that into consideration. Don't get fired. Uh, <laughs> But what I'm going into isn't a situation where I'm going to be fired. Like, you show up, you do your job, get it done, everything will be just fine. And I think it will allow for that time to work on said side business. Great. That's great news. And I might end up with a master's at the end of this or retire here. You never know. You never know how things will turn out. But uh, that also just opens up more doors. Um, and it's a chance to learn stuff. I, I like learning things and uh, long term it could open up opportunities to to teach at community colleges at universities as a lecturer and, and other positions um, it really depends on the university yeah where they allow master's degree holders to end up in their corporate structure um, so just thinking long term and in the short term, can we just hang out for a while? Because it's been kind of a, an employment ride. Let's put it that way. I'm <laughs> ready to grow some roots. <laughs> just focus on raising the kids, you know? So I wanted to share that good news with you. And a little more lower energy of a video today. Just updating you on the good things in life. On the relaxing things. <laughs> because... Lord knows there's enough chaos going around. Um, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And uh, wish me luck. Hopefully the next month is as uneventful as possible. And I hope you're having a good week.